So the match is beginning. We have Death Style 4. Falcon Eddie Garners and Keshis are banned. There is a delay, ladies and gentlemen. So I don't answer you guys right away. It's not that I don't like you. It's just that I simply can't uh, respond instantly. Uh, let's say, look where it goes. 100 humble viewers about, is a little boys. big pog. Right, guys, if you haven't already as well, and you... It looks like here, Pongard will take the attack to start. Uh, very interesting unit loadout. Very different from the last fight that we saw. A lot of Senjis in the mix on this one. Reapers, Palace Guards, Grey Hairs mixed in. Four Broncos, a couple Ball Boys. We have the Professional Sig with the Ball Boy plays as well. Sig's a pretty cool dude. Definitely keep an eye on him. He's very fun to watch. And then for Surf Slayers, we have Florida Broncos, Hop Sergeants, Palace Guards, Jazz Sergeants mixed in as well. Uh, and some Armagers in the back line with another Ball, bo a ball, another ball Boy supplier. Both teams, very heavyweight teams. Both teams have very similar strats. I'm uh, going to have to see how this goes down. No sailing here by the looks of it. Not a lot of cap in the field at all. Um, very limited cap compared to the last match we just saw. Very few cap indeed. Mainly infantry base focus here. Have to see how this strat works out. I think we're going to see a very different strat this time around, ladies and gentlemen. So that case is go pawn guard. This is about to be a thick fight, dude. I'm ready. My body is ready. My soul is ready. My spirit is ready. I'm feeling edgy, ladies and gentlemen. I'm feeling edgy. Hmm. Nice loadout to start for both teams. We'll have to see how it goes. Hopefully I don't lag. Okay, so we're going to go for a slow approach for the start right as well. I'm going to slow my camera real quick. I'm going to go for a little bit of higher vantage point here. Both teams going for a slow start as it seems. Both teams working the already right off the bat. Um, it does look like Star Slayers will go ahead and put some heroes on the on the wall and some unit, units mixed in, but nothing too crazy. Just probably to anti any ladder climbers, any potential rushers. A lot of PGs on the field and Reapers. Uh, a couple of Claymores and Flames mixed in right now for Surf Slayers with Medal, Fort Abraki, and some useless unit combos um, for Pond Guard here. Uh, Halp Sergeant is being brought in by Maximus. There is a delay, confirmed delay. Both teams taking a very slow approach here. It's very much what we saw like on the second game of the last match for Shaka Paladins and uh, Oda's Legion. Both teams taking a very conservative approach. Jang Nan taking where Rip Cats was on the previous match, taking that musket spot. Just kind of shooting the already, bombing them, keeping those, trying to keep the already off the towers. So the towers land on first try so they don't waste any time at all. Um, which is, I think, a healthy strat. As we're doing the same exact thing on the tab left side here. Um, I have to see where it goes, Legion. I have to see where it goes. A lot of support coming in here for the NA players. Uh, very honestly, dude. I respect, I respect both teams big time. Both teams are really good. I got friends on both same on both teams. Um, very juicy uh, setup right now by both teams. Taking very conservative approaches. A will probably go for free if I had to predict and be honest. Uh, that's what I full on expect. Jang Don asked if you're watching over the the, the, uh, the Ram. Make sure it gets through, no problem. Looking at them rotating back right now at the same time. Good rotation. Also, it does look like right away everyone knows A is going to go for free. Don't, the, the fight's not going to start yet. It's just pretty much the warm up round. Uh, see what's up. Just get the vibe for it. Um, it does look like right off the bat, Surf Slayers will take that B and C defensive approach. Um, and it looks like uh, Pond Guard will do the same, taking a nice slow approach. Play nice and slow with the Death Ball Prac tactic probably coming into play here. Um, supply point being the main priority, the focus. This guy RPing over here, throwing a bombard, I would have easily let that happen. Just kidding, I would not have let that happen. Um, it does look like they will just take A for free for sure. Uh, tab left side, they have a couple guys there for surf slides with muskets and a couple of short sword of pullouts to support. Uh, tab right side, they're going to get for free pretty much. They're watching small door and also the staircase in mid. Uh, supply point being the main focus here probably for surf slayers. Uh, at this point in time, tab left side, they are probing, trying to bait uh, what it seems. They're trying to bait some of the players over there from, from Pond Guard to chase them into that area. They want them to go to the tab left side to pressure. Um, that's clearly where the uh, stack is and where they want to be. Uh, tab right side will be the priority focus. They're going to do a half split here. Um, the Max was taking the charge here, taking supply point for free. Uh, Pine following shortly with followed by Mr. Billy D. Seeking Jang Nong. On tab left side, you have SKW, Patrick the First, and Sledge Main pressuring ZX and Kara for, and from Surf Slayers. Um, they are pressuring slightly. Both teams kind of staring at each other. Big staring contest at this point in time. 
Um, basically, if you blink first, you lose. Big Sag. Uh, very, it's going to be a very interesting play here uh, for both teams. See what happens. SK calling a very early treb. Um, let's see if those PGs actually move. And he hits his own teammate. Unlucky, bro. Unlucky. And I don't think that even land. I mean, it does land partially. It does actually kill. Mm. It kills a couple. It kills a couple. And not really a useful treb. I think he was just hungry for kills there. Probably could have waited on that treb. Um, is what it is. Seeky making a play, chasing the pole axe, but nothing too safe, crazy right now. Both teams playing wild. They can serve us getting set up. They're just using treb at this point in time, trying to get an angle, make sure they can't get supply point for free. Um, just, just trying to pelt them a little bit, get some, get, get, start like make me make them melt a little bit. See what happens here. Surf is realizing that they can't stay on the supply point for much longer. They do rotate off. They do that truck does exactly what they technically wanted to do. But Surf are smarter than that. They will rotate a couple guys back to actually heal up and make sure things happen here. Um, so far so good by both teams. Very slow approach. Just calling trips on that supply point. Uh, RPing this, they just don't want anything on that supply point. They want to make sure those guys are fucking off. And that's actually gonna be a good trip. Those four brockers literally were inches away from walking into that trap. That could have been a really juicy trip if the four brockers moved five feet forward. Um, Siki's kind of vibing on the back line over there on central on tab left side. It does look like Pongor will make a play that they will push into Kara. Kara's way overextended for surf slayers. He should die there for free. It does look like he will get the decisively killed. As we have to note, there's only three only three deaths per player in this match. So if you get more than three deaths, you are completely out of the match. Um, so both teams have to play smart with their lives. Kara being the first to die in the whole field. Uh, on Tampa side, it does look like PG's making a good little death ball play there. It does look like they successfully will win the exchange there. And on the central supply point push, they are fighting for their lives there with PG and Surf are engaging here. Flames on both sides shooting. A lot of flame action going down. Let's get it for a closer look here. Tampa side also getting in there for a juicy fight as well. It does look like Tampa will get in. Pongo will make a flanking play. I'm going to stay a little zoom back because I want to get it all for you. Uh, Reaper's charging in for Surf's Eyes, trying to stop the fight, but too late! If PG can hold for a little bit longer mid, it does look like they will get a big flank off here! PG making a big flanking play here! Ooh, and it does not look good right now for Surf's Eyes. They have to recover, they cannot pull on supply point. It does look like a very even trade at this point in time. Both it does look like uh, PG is walking away decisively, actually, with the supply point. Surf's Eyes getting decisively blown out on supply. They get flanked, Tamlith goes down, the central mid play holds the line, it does not retreat, and they do walk away with supply point, ladies and gentlemen. It just happened, and there it is. PG does walk away with supply point. That is very, very devastating to the Surf Slayers team. Uh, Pine taking B for free. He is hopping around in joy right now, ladies and gentlemen. He is doing the Irish jig on B at this point in time. Sledgeman giving them no time to breathe. Is setting up, watching for any push they possibly can do from Seaside. Supply point being fully pulled at this point in time. It does look like Surf Slayers realizes they're in deep shit and is giving B and C. It's setting up for a home point. At this point in time, they're down 100 units on the as 100 units down for more for a um, actually hold on. I'm sorry, I apologize. Uh, yeah, there's, 100, there's 300 units dead for Surf Slayers and 200 dead for Pondguard at this point in time. 1,052 units on the field for Pondguard, 864 on the field for Surf Slayers. Um, at this point in time, Pondguard does have the upper hand. They have a lot of time, and all they have to go for is home point, ladies and gentlemen. It's a tough situation right now for Surf Slayers. Pondguard made a very, very decisive trade there. Um, they didn't even use the small door attack that we saw last game. A very, very healthy push right now. I'm trying to watch both teams right now. It does look like Surf Slayers realizes their predicament is not going to give that tab off supply for free. Pondguard realizing that that situation is happening there, decides to do a full rotation, giving tab off completely, going for a death ball tactic that Pondguard is known for and that they are very comfortable with doing. This is a very organized team. Um, they have all been playing together now for uh, probably a couple years. Um, and Surf Slayers as well is also a very organized team. So let the see how it goes down. I think Pongard, I think Surf Slayers are starting to realize that they're not going to come that way. And they are doing a small rotation. I don't think it's going to be in time as well. Um, and Pongard does have opportunity here to do a full pressure here. They are not set up on home at all. Um, but it does not look like uh, Pongard is in position either. So both times we'll have time to set up and get their units positioned. Siki probing with Sig and Watson. Uh, SKW kind of hanging out with Sig, making sure that uh, he doesn't die. Um, this vibing over there. C4 kind of doing something. I don't know what you're not really sure what he's doing back there. Everybody's, I think he's just holding them back. I think he's just watching, the, watching their ass. Um, it does look like Surf Slayers is going to play a very conservative approach. Not even going for any flanking play here, but just go straight up to the mid and take out, take the central approach here and try to make something happen from that. That was a really good play on that supply point, guys. That was a, that, you guys, If you guys were watching it, that was a quality play. Take note of that, uh, especially for your TW scenarios or the C scenarios in general. This is how you, gotta play. This is how you should be playing all day, guys. Um, this is quality gameplay right now. 
It does look like Pongo Bowl took a central and Tebright supply, supply uh, a Tebright uh, stance here with Surfside staying mainly central, building up a little bit of a kill box, but nothing substantial. Moving around, keeping the units varying, really prioritize that tab of supply over here closer in. They're not trying to give the supply to Pongard. They are going to fight for it. Pongard at this point in time needs to realize that and go. And, and I'm not going to. I'm not going to tell what they should be doing. I'm just going to commentate. But if they were seeing what I'm seeing right now, they would be doing a very different tactic. Um, they don't really need to engage at all in that Tebow supply. They have nine heroes committed there. They could just decisively death ball home at this point in time. I'm not sure if Pot and Guard realizes it, though. They're probing Tebow supply. It does look like they want to fight for that Tebow supply first and actually kill more units. But they will get sandwiched if they go down the alleyway, giving Surfsiders the advantage here. They are walking right into Pong into Surfsiders' trap here. Surfsiders realizing that they're walking to the trap. Needs to make the fucking play. They are holding on supply point at this point in time. So Surfsiders sees the play. They're going for a sandwich tactic. Pot and Guard totally fell for it. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Surf Slayers has him in a sandwich scenario. Surf Slayers, uh, Surf Slayers now has to push on both sides, giving them no time to breathe. Pongard, realizing the dire of the situation, realizing they just fucking put themselves in a bad spot, are trying to get out to the right side, realizing Tablets is fucking heavy. Um, one four to set for Barkers, watching the back line. One flanking play coming in from Makula as well for Surf Slayers. Big flanking play on PG. Uh, and it doesn't do much. There's a slow walker ready to go. PG salvages the situation. They start pressuring home with three heroes, realizing they're in a deep spot. A bunch of shit, a bunch of people fighting over an alleyway instead of home point another set of cap coming in for surf slayers here two sets of cap coming in for surf slayers pg's in a very difficult situation they are down three players to only one player down for surf slayers right now very fast paced game surf slayers is clearing at this point in time pg pg is in a shit situation they are getting completely sandwiched here it does look like surf slayers will completely clear this absolutely they will surf slayers does walk away with a hard w here they made a big play here uh pg walked right into that uh completely walked into that um not really sure what why they would do that. Uh, they should have saw that. Really, kind of, this press Z forehead. Um, yeah, that was not the play at all. Pongard has put themselves in a really bad situation from that. Um, based on the unit count right now, PG still has the unit count advantage, but they did get completely wiped on that wipe. Uh, we'll have to see how they can come back from that and see what happens. Surf Slayers realizing they just kind of salvaged the situation. They went from a shit situation to a, a little bit of a better situation right now. It's only a hundred unit difference on the field right now, ladies and gentlemen, and they just took a lot of deaths. Um, we have to take, we do have to take note, ladies and gentlemen. Um, uh, after three deaths, you're completely out of the game. Um, so both teams don't want to lose players. Uh, it's literally pretty light still on home point right now for... <laughs> <laughs> for surf slayers they're really prioritizing this tab of supply and i don't think pond guard sees it they just don't see it man um it does look like surf slayer is realizing how light home actually is and as guys guys rotating back and forth but um man they could just death ball home and just walk up the i uh, just i'm not really sure what pond is doing here um we'll have to see surf slayers is in a really is in an interesting position as well both teams taking very interesting stances that i i, I really uh, i really don't see why that prioritizes that supply point um but uh, they're giving it. They don't want to lose that angle. Um, very interesting. Very interesting. They're looking for another sandwich tactic. We'll have to see. It does look like Pongard is staying in their little death ball like that they like. Um, watching the back line this time as well. Nice alchemist throw onto some half sergeants. Half sergeants look like they're going to back off there. They have to realize they're going to get melted. Um, nice little death ball here by Pongard. Um, it does look like Pongard realizes that they do have a nice little death ball going on. They have nice little, they have unit comp is clean as well. Four blockers with some gray hairs, PGs, flames, and, and then pikes. I mean, you can't beat that. That's a really good combo. Um, and the combo right there looks very similar as well for Surf Slayers. No flames on the field at this point in time, but they do have some cav. They could make a flank. Here comes the tab left side coming in. watching the angle right now. Jang Nong and SKW and Sig need to watch that flanking play. We'll have to see if SKW sees it or if, that, if, they're, if they have enough anti-cap to stop that. They do. They are realizing the play right there. They are realizing they're taking a two-front war, but so is at this point in time Surf Slayers. It is a very even trade right now. They are getting free cap points at this point in time. PG just have to hold the line. They have nothing on the back line right now. They just have to watch the left and the central flank, and they have this. And it does look like there'll be a decent trip to go off as well. Right on top of that anti-infantry. Um, it does look like Surf Slayers can't get through the flank. If they are getting cock blocked right now by PG. PG realizing the situation is starting to make deep pressure right there. It's getting a nice trap off as well. PG prioritizing home at this point in time. Uh, four blockers on the point. It does look like at this point in time, PG is decisively winning the point. It does look like Surf Slayers will lose the point here. They're down several players. PG only down one, and it's Maximus. It does look like PG win here pretty decisively. They realize the error of their ways and are pushing decisively. It, and it is going to go. A couple heroes in Surf Slayers making a last ditch effort to just buy some time. Make hope for a miracle, but this is no miracle to be made. This is no miracle to be made right now. There's so much infantry in this point. This game is decisively won by PG here. PG realizing they had one bad push, and they came back and made a big freaking play here ladies and gentlemen very very good play here by pg very nicely done uh surf slayers definitely i think overcommitted that supply point quite decisively there 
Um, not surprised Pine walking away with the MVP. They're followed up by Aspen Tree and Seeky. Very good gameplay right there by them on that B side over there early in the game. Really, really just good gameplay overall. Uh, certain players definitely fought hard, but they I think they committed too hard on this uh, tab left supply. Uh, not this. this uh, on, uh, let me slow down. Hold on. Let me, let me breathe real quick. That was a good match. That was a good match. Hold on, guys. Let me breathe. That was a good fucking match. I was going to pog in the chat if we agreed. That was, a, that, was a, that was a solid match, dude. That was a solid match. Uh, I do have to say, ladies and gentlemen, I do have to say, um, that B and C push, that, that supply point push between B and C by Pond Guard, again, I, that was a big freaking play right there. I, 